Picks and Parlay family, it's me, Detroit Lenny here, joined with these two knuckleheads here, Sean, the man, the myth, the legend, Higgs, and David Duffelbag <laughs> Delano. I listen, I don't I can't get the duffel bag thing out. I don't know. It just doesn't flow off the tongue. Because you, you just want to say duffel bag Dave. Dave. Duffel bag Doberman. Duffel bag Dave. Dave. Yeah. That's it. You can't you can't it's not a whole triple D. Plus dollar I guess it'd be, I guess it'd be the triple D. Duffel the triple bag D. Dave. I don't know. The titles are work in progress. Drop in the comment section. I don't know. Help a brother out. Uh Tuesday, August 27th, MLB action. You guys like, share, subscribe, use that promo code. L-E-N-N-Y 20, save you 20% off all these guys' premium plays, best bets, picks and parlays.net. Find them all over the leaderboards, anywhere you want. Uh, Astros, Phillies. Uh, Phillies minus 150 at home. Astros plus 130. Mr. Sean Higgs, you got a side for us to start off with. Where are you going with this one? Yeah, and I don't know how uh, the, the the Dollar Dave is going to feel over this. We're going to be fading to Strokes. Oh, Dollar Dave. And- and, and technically, we are Houston guys, even though Houston is the size of the state of uh, Pennsylvania. Yeah, I was but, uh, I, yeah, I mean, seriously. Uh, I, but I'm going to fade them here. I'm going to go Phillies. Not that I love taking huge minus 140s and 150s, but the calendar switches. You got to kind of move on a little bit. And this is really just a fade of like Verlander. I, you know, he's twilighting out. And at this stage, I just don't love him. I think he's probably going to go what, four. Five plus here. He is what he is at this stage of career. And as much as I think the Strohs are going to probably push through to the playoffs here, the bullpen to me has been overworked all season. Like most teams, a bunch of five inning guys, and you're going right. to throw another guy out there who's coming back off the injured list, a couple starts under his belt. I'm taking a Philly lineup here, and I think I have the better pitcher right now, plain and simple. You know, I'm going to take uh, the Phillies here. It's a big number, yes, but. That's all right. I, I I really don't know what to say when I take when I take favorites like this. You I, really I'm don't. Torn. I see you struggling for I am because I hate <laughs> doing and I, I am like run line, yes, but I don't want to throw out a run line all of a sudden. It's a it's a four three game and I end up winning a close one and then we don't cash. Nola's pitch okay. well. Verlander to me, I'll just go to 150. It's a free pick. It's a free pick. Right. And let that, I got you covered. You're, not going load you're, on this you're struggling with this minus 150 price it's tag. Tough. And it's we tough. Get it's like when your kids go to college. It. They leave. You got to be like, be oh, my okay. goodness, they're leaving. We'll be okay. I got a plan for the plus dollar daddy to get back into that action. All right. Uh, we're going to go to David Delano's side here. Angels and my Tigers. Dave, uh, minus 150 here for the Tigers in and I hope you don't struggle with as many words as, as Mr. Higgs here. He hates minus 150. What, what, what are your thoughts here? Yeah, I mean, of course, it's always – we like getting plus money more I mean, <laughs> better than um, laying, laying juice. But um, it's always good when we can talk about the uh, Tigers here on these uh, on these videos. And um, a few weeks – around the trade deadline, we talked about it really sucked a lot of the energy out of the Tigers. It looked like it. Um, but this team's playing really well. As a matter of fact, since August 12th, Detroit is actually tied for the uh, best record in baseball. Uh, they've got a, a young rookie pitcher going here. And um, in Herter, the bullpen has been pitching really well. And on the other side, um, like I said, it's a little bit juicy, but they're going up against an Angels team that has the worst record in baseball since August 12th. Um, we've got Johnny Cueto, now 38 years old. Back pitching. Now he pitched well in his last outing, but sometimes guys who've been out the league a little bit, a little bit yeah. older, sometimes they'll have that nice strong start coming back. Yeah. But I think that he's gonna struggle in this one. Tigers swinging the bats better. I'm gonna go ahead and lay the minus 150 with the Tigers. Mm-hmm. A couple few things. If you if you do want um something plus money, and I'm, I'm gonna have something on my premium card that I really like <laughs> that is plus money over there. But ultimately, right. we want to win games. Right. And Sean had mentioned, I think even uh, last week, in all of these sports, you get towards the end of the season, you got some teams that are really trying. Tigers are trying to have a winning record. Other teams really just tanking. And sometimes start chasing dogs this last month of the season. You can also yeah, lose right. a lot of money. More right. importantly than anything, we want to win the game. And even yeah. at minus 150, I think that this is a good spot for one of the hottest team in baseball against the coldest. <laughs> Listen, it's okay. You could say that again. It's all right. We'll take the time. Detroit Tigers minus 150 from David Delano. Listen, I got a plan. Both these guys are struggling with these minus 150 price tags. Parlay, 
little two team parlay. Don't tell Sean Higgs he's he hates parlays. I'm gonna parlay the Tigers and uh the Phillies here into maybe a little plus money action at both minus 150 tags. That's how I'm gonna get to there. But guys, don't forget like, share, subscribe. Promo code LENNY20 saves you 20% off your entire purchase. We're gonna go right back to David Delano for a total Marlins and the Rockies 11. Where are you going with this one, Dave? Yeah, with, with totals like 11, I always, when I can, try to find a, a good reason to take the under. Um, looking at this, uh, Cal Quantrill for the Iraqis, he's he's had a decent season for a while, but now looking at the last five starts he's made, uh, the Rockies have allowed at least seven runs in um, four out of those uh, five games. And on the other side, we've got Rodney Munoz going for the Marlins. Looking at some of his last few outings, last time out, Miami gave up 10 runs. Before that, they gave up seven runs to the Mets. They gave up nine runs to the Padres before that and 10 runs to the Reds. Both of these bullpens have not been strong this season, throughout the entire season. And looking through the last 10 games, they've both even been worse. Miami bullpen earned run average over six. Um, Rockies bullpen about five and a half. And the only way I can look at this is the over as high as this total is. I think we get to at least 13 runs in this one. I, I think that there's going to be runs early. There's going to be runs late. Uh, two teams <laughs> that aren't playing for anything. I've got to go over 11. There you go. Uh, Marlins and the Rockies over 11 from David Delano. Listen, uh, not a lot of defense, whole lot of offense over the 11. Sean Higgs, you're going to talk the Yankees and the Nationals. This total is a little bit more down to earth at that 11. I hate those double digits. Double digit totals, I can't stand them. But I get it. I, this one flirts with that double digit total. Sean Higgs, what is your thoughts? Well, you know, Patrick Corbin has been dealing his last two starts, giving up three runs in, in 10 innings. So that is Cy Young work from him, considering that he's sporting a ERA north of six and has been absolutely brutal. But I'm going to go over here. I don't care how good he's been pitching. Listen, the Yanks, and, and I'll keep saying this about the Yanks, they are a two-man team with Judge right. and Soto. Uh, but, you know, you got Stanton back. He brings a little pop. Jazz is back. So the lineup gets a little deeper. And you get a versus a guy who's just been getting teed off. So – you right. know what, the Yankees, it, we've and it, we've seen this with teams, right? They come in, they kind of lay eggs against a bad team. They lose to the White Sox. Say, oh, my God, the sky, how do you lose to the White Sox? How do you lose to the A's? Or you, they lost to the Rockies. Even if they lose this one, this game is going over because Cole's going to yeah. give him a few runs. He's still rounded into form. We talk about Verlander rounded into form. At least Cole's 10 years younger rounded into form after a, a trip to the Angeles. But I will be shocked I'll if he gives up. Yeah, you know, really. I will be shocked. He's going to, you know, will he give up a run or two early? Possibly. But let's be honest, Yanks could get this on their own. This should really sail over. This game should be like a 10-2 kind of game. Uh, Yanks should just batter this guy. The weather's nice. They're swinging. Judge has been insane. Soto's been insane. Stanton, when he's in there as well, over to nine. So as, as square as you can be, as square as the boxes around us in this video. That's a, yeah. Hey, listen, I made these boxes. They're pretty square. This yeah. will be nine and a half by the time, the edges, but by the time you post this, this will be nine and a half. I already bet it at nine and a half plus money. Uh, over nine and a half plus money and David Delano's total at plus 11 and a half or over 11 and a half. And I hated every part of it, but I <laughs> took it because I can't stand those totals over. I'm going to give you guys a quick little recap, guys. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. As always, promo code LENNY20. Save you 20% off your entire purchase. Picks and parlays.net. Get David or Sean Higgs' premium plays over there. Best bets. Picks and parlays.net. NFL, college football, everything's on deck. Let's get into this. Uh, here's your quick little rundown. Mr. Sean Higgs likes the over nine. I think the Yankees could get there by themselves. If the Nats make it a game, now it's 12 to seven. You know what I mean? It's still over to nine. Uh, and he also likes the Philadelphia Phillies minus 150. Sean Higgs likes the Philadelphia the Phillies 150. minus 150. He's, hey, look, he's, he's, uh, he can't stand it. <sighs> David Delano likes over Marlins and the Rockies over the 11. And he also likes the hottest team in baseball since the all-star break or trade deadline, whatever the hell. Just, you know, we're going for over 500. <laughs> it's not about how you start. It's how you finish. Good luck unless you're against us. Uh, take care. See you on the next one.